What's going on guys? So I just got back from watching Logan and man this was the perfect way to end freaking Hugh Jackman's story as Logan. AKA Wolverine, my favorite Marvel character next to Gambit because sometimes I don't want to feel like, you know, picking Wolverine because like he's everybody's favorite, but Gambit's also awesome, but he just sucks in all the movies because nobody knows how to play him and I don't want freaking What's his name? Channing Tatum to play him either, and that's why that movie's dying because nobody else wants him to play him. But Wolverine is my favorite freaking Marvel character, and I've been wanting him to have. I, I've always said this, and I said that you can't make a good Wolverine movie without it being rated R, and they finally did that, and it was the best Wolverine movie that they've done. I'll even say best X. Shut up, phone. Was the best freaking X Men movie they've done because this one was just, it was so good, and I really enjoyed it, and I'm the same, like, freaking, oh, uh, Wolverine with his freaking ping, claws and shit, and just cutting everybody up, because that's what Wolverine does, he doesn't freaking try to sacrifice people, or like, oh, let me cut you here, so you actually live and shit, no, he fucking kills people, and you can't show that, be super badass, without the blood and shit and limbs flying off in the other PG-13 movies. So this rated R one, where it was no holds barred Wolverine, was by far the best fucking Wolverine movie there's been. I mean, I'm not gonna give any spoilers for this film. I do really wanna talk about it. Uh, just, you know, my thoughts on it. And hopefully you guys go see this. I highly recommend it. Shut up, phone! I highly recommend it uh, for you guys. Um, it's the first superhero movie of the year, and man, the year started off well. I think, you know, freaking Fox knows how to start off the superhero year, but they don't know how to end it with their other movies, uh, because last year, we got Deadpool in February, and that kicked off the superhero year, and, uh, yeah, so, and I think next up is freaking Guardians, so, yeah, we're, lo we're looking good in the superhero year, but, uh, Logan started off pretty high, and like I said, we all knew this was gonna be Hugh Jackman's last Wolverine movie and I think it was awesome guys. I really genuinely enjoyed this movie. Just to give you a little bit of story with no spoilers uh, and because it's kind of promoted in the actual trailers but Logan is- I hold on. This thing's gonna keep going off because it keep- IT'S MY LAPTOP! SHUT UP LAPTOP! When we fix the problem, I'm sorry. Anyways, just to give you a little bit of story on what's happening in this movie all the mutants are dead in this movie, and you know, some of the last ones are Wolverine and Xavier, which you see in the freaking trailer, and then here comes X-23, and it's a whole, you know, you'll see the story when you watch it, but it's just Logan's protecting her in this movie. Um, but man, like, it was just, I, I can't get over finally being able to see the Wolverine movie that I've wanted this whole time. I never thought we were going to get a rated R Wolverine. I thought, you know, they probably would recast him before we actually get that. I always thought it was going to be a money grab, but, you know, Fox saw, thank you, Deadpool, uh, Fox saw what a rated R movie could do for them, and they were like, fuck it, let's do a rated R movie, and bada bing, bada boom, we got it. And I'm, I'm hoping this is going to be something that's going to start a trend, that, you know, there will be other rated R movies, and, you know, because I think it just, it allows you not to have limits, and it lets you to, like, you know, comic book characters like Logan or Deadpool, who are like very uncensored and are very brutal, you actually get to show them for who they are. You're not kind of like watering them down. So it was really nice to see this movie or see Wolverine as how as he should be. I could talk about Hugh Jackman being Wolverine, being awesome the whole time. Like he's he's just Wolverine. You know how he is. He just takes it up a notch in this one because it's his last film. Uh, but I want to talk about the main main fucking thing that made me love this film and this is not a spoiler it's not it doesn't ruin the film in any way uh, but i do got to mention it because it's the moment i knew that i fucking loved this film and that is with x23 when she speaks and she starts talking because she's fucking talking in spanish that's fucking right people x23 is latina and i loved it. I did not freaking know that because if you look at the trailer, she looks white. And like, you know, and if you're like brown like me, we call that a weta. And that's what she looked like. And I was just all like, oh shit. I thought she was white. I didn't know. I didn't look up her IMDb. And if you go to her IMDb, look at it right here. Her name in the credits is Daphne Keen. And I was like, all right, no, she's white. But if you look at her freaking bio, it's actually Daphne Keen Fernandez. She is Latina, and this blew my fucking mind. One, because I was like, wait, 
Oh, hold on, freaking, is this girl Latina? And then I was like, if she's not Latina, her Spanish accent and Spanish is fucking great. And like, give her an Oscar right now. But then after the movie, I freaking looked her up and I was like, holy shit, this is awesome. Because if they continue, guys, if Fox makes her like the next freaking Wolverine like the comic books have and we're going to have a female Wolverine and it's going to be X-23 my favorite fucking Marvel character is going to be Latina and I am so excited because you guys know that I have bitched and complained about the MCU now remember this is Fox and X-Men very they are not connected at all so Fox thank you for doing something Fuck you, MCU, for still not giving me a badass brown superhero. And don't bring that Ghost Rider shit up in here with me, okay? I want them in the movies, not the TV shows, because a lot of people don't watch that shit. But seriously, Fox, oh my god. If Please, please, one, continue using this girl. She was great in this movie. Like, her performance as X-23 was fucking badass. She might have had better fight scenes than Wolverine. And it was great. Like, her just seeing her fight in this movie was so awesome. She's just like this little thing of like, die, 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 die. Like, just seeing her in this movie, I got super excited. And she just had this leader vibe in this movie. Like, I was like, I want to see her be in control of the X-Men and shit. And, oh, man, it's just so awesome to see her in this movie and then just thinking just I just started thinking I was like oh my god you know if they do this and they do that like from the comics and like she's the next Wolverine and she's gonna be Wolverine for like the next 20 or 30 years because Hugh Jackman was basically like that holy shit I am super excited because in a fucking lead role X-23 would be fucking Latina and I'm just like super over the moon with this shit you have no fucking excuses MCU you pieces of shit and don't give me that there's true to the comics fuck you they are not did you see dr strange because they freaking made mordo or whatever his name is white to black so you ain't trying to be true about that shit at all and sometimes in the comics freaking mordo would look brown you could have casted a latino there and you changed the freaking ancient one from being being tibetan to white so don't give me that shit that i can't have a latino major superhero get their own movie Woosa, woosa. sorry you guys know how i get with the MCU not giving me a brown looking person. And I know some of you have made the point that Gamora is, uh, I think, Latina. I'm not too sure. I haven't looked too much into it. Let's check. Zoe, who plays Gamora, is Puerto Rican. So, yeah, we're getting the Latino vibes in there. And you make a solid point. But let's be real. She's green. Okay? She's green. Can I get somebody that looks brown and Latina? Okay? And I know that, you know, like freaking uh, Daphne here, Latinas can look white. But, uh, you know, just give me some brown, like, you know, because we're categorizing it, you know. You know, I know there can be white Latinas and shit like that. And, you know, there could be white Africans and stuff like that, too. So I know that everybody can look every way. But give me somebody who's brown, please. Do it, MCU. You have no excuses after Doctor Strange, okay? No fucking excuses. Sorry, let's get back to Logan. If you've been on this channel before, these rants happen every once in a while, and I apologize. Seriously, go watch Logan. Like, it is, I like I said, I think it is the best X-Men film there has been one probably because it stars my favorite my favorite freaking hero from X-Men. But the storyline's just good. It's just a solid story. The action is solid. And just there's some surprises in it that are cool. And then just it's it's a solid ending to just Hugh Jackman's story for his Wolverine journey. And um, yeah, I can't really go into detail with everything else that I want to talk about because I don't want to give any spoilers for this film like I want you guys to go see it and I want to hear what your thoughts on it and maybe we'll you know maybe I'll do another secondary video about it or something talking about what I liked or whatever in this movie but I really since it's so early and you know I saw the Thursday night showings and it comes out tomorrow and where a lot of people are going to be watching it I don't want to give anything away I want you guys to enjoy this movie 100% and then maybe we'll do it later on but there are so many things that happen in this movie that I would love to talk about and that get me excited for the future um, but I don't want to spoil them for you, so I'm just going to say definitely go watch this. I think X-23 might have stole the show. Um, I had really loved her in this one. Xavier was awesome. I forgot to mention him. Um, the yeah, Xavier was badass. I will kind of, oh no, I was about to say, I was like, I didn't really like the villain in this, but I can't, I can't say anything else. I can't say anything else. Just 
Uh, I don't want to ruin anything. <laughs> I really, I want to like go in depth and talk about this with you, but just watch this movie. That's all I'm gonna say. Just go watch it. I know I repeated myself a million times, but I just, you know, I just saw the movie and loved X23. Finding out that she's Latina blew my fucking mind. I'm telling you, I loved that moment she started speaking. I was like, <gasps> and it was great. Uh, and Hugh Jackman, man, I'm, I'm sad. I'm sad he's leaving. I'm sad this isn't freaking ending to his story because I fucking, he's been, he's been Wolverine for like 18 years or some shit. That is fucking almost my whole life and shit. Like, uh, man, he's been my Wolverine. He's the only Wolverine I know and he's been the perfect Wolverine. And, um, it's an end of an era. So, I don't know. I want to know what you guys think of this movie. If you're going to go watch it tomorrow or this weekend, after you watch it, come back to this video and let me know what you thought about it. Um, I talked about it a little bit on Twitter, um, but I wanted to make this video so I didn't say too much. So let me know after you see this movie what you thought about it in the comment sections down below. Guys and gals, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with all your Wolverine buddies. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for all things nerdy and geeky on this channel. As always, I am your host, Juicebox. Remember, when we wake up in the morning, ask yourself something. Have I been daily dose of juice? See you guys next time. Bye!